Hello guys and welcome to another video. The conditional logic is a very powerful tool that allows you to show or hide set of options based on specific conditions created by you. For example, you can decide to show an input field to allow the customer to enter a text to customize a product only if they have previously selected a checkbox to confirm they want to customize it. Or another example can be that you can show only specific options based on the product variation that is selected. So actually the examples could be infinite, but in today's video I want to focus on two so I can show you how you can configure the conditional logic using our plugin with WooCommerce product patterns and extra options. But before we can start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect guys, here we are inside the demo I use for the product add-ons videos. Today, I will show you how we can configure the conditional logic. For this, I will use two examples with two different products. The first one, we have it here, and it is a custom white gold ring. What I want to do here is to allow the customer to enter a text to engrave the inside and the outside of the ring, as we can see in this picture. But before they can enter the text, they should first select the checkbox to confirm they do want to engrave the ring for an additional price. To see this better, let's begin by going to our plugin. For that, first we go here to Dashboard, and from here we find G and we click on Product Add-ons. Here you can see the previous blocks we have created for our other videos, but today let's go ahead and create a new one. For that, I will go over here and click on Add Block. Over here, I will enter the block name. I'll say Custom White Gold Ring. And now I will start adding the options. So from here, I will click Add Options. From all of the options that we can see in this pop-up, I want to select first the checkbox. I click. And here I will begin with the title. This information will actually appear in the product page and it helps to provide more information regarding this option to the user. So I will enter this title. Customize your ring with an engraving. Next, I will move on to the label. Here, I will enter engrave the outside. And now the only other option that I want to modify is the price. In this case, if I click here, we can see these three options. Product price doesn't change, increase the main product price or discount the main product price. For this option, what I want to do is add an additional price of 35 euros. So I will select the second option, increase the main product price. And from this field that we get below, if I click here, I can select between fixed amount and a percentage. I want to leave fixed amount and I will enter the price here, so 35. So our option is ready. I will save so we can go ahead and create the next option. For that, I will click here again, add options, but this time I want to select this one I have here, input text. I select it and this time I don't want to add a title. The only information that I want to add for this option is the label. And here I will enter text to engrave the outside. This is all the information that I need for this option, so I can now save. Now we continue with our options, so one more time, I click here, Add Options, and now I want to go back to Checkbox to create the same option we did before, but for the inside of the ring. So I select it. The only difference this time is that I will not add any title but I do want to add the label, same as before, so engrave the inside. And 
again I want to modify the price so from here I select increase the main product price I leave fixed amount and here I enter 35 now I can save and we still have one more option to go so for the last time I will click here and I'll go back to input text I will go directly to label and here I will enter text to engrave the inside perfect let's save this option and let's have a look over here you can see our four options so we have the two checkboxes and the two input fields now all we need to do is associate our options with the product for that we can go over here to rules and from this option show this block of options in I will change from all products to specific products and categories once I select it we can see these two new fields below from this one products to include I will search for our product so custom white gold ring here we have it so I add it and now we can save these changes and I will save here one more time so we can go back to the demo to see the results okay we're back in our product page and over here we can see the four options we have created we have the checkbox to engrave the outside the checkbox to engrave the inside and the two input fields also we can read here in the checkbox the information regarding the extra charge of 35 euros now we're still missing one step which is configuring the conditional logic because what i want to do is hide these two input fields and only show them if the customer has previously selected the related checkbox so to achieve this let's go back for a moment to our block of options very well in order to create the conditional logic rules to show the input fields only when the checkbox is selected I need to go inside our input field options so I will begin with this one I need to click here on edit and from here I want to go to conditional logic tab and now I want to enable this option set conditions to show or hide this set of options once I enable it we will see the following display rules and from here we can decide whether to show or hide this set of options if all of these rules or any of these rules match for our example I want to leave show this set of options if all of these rules match and over here we will be able to enter our own rules as many as you want right now since I enter the input field related to the outside of the ring over here I want to look for the engrave the outside checkbox here I have it so is and here select what this means is that with this conditional logic rule I will show the input field if the checkbox engrave the outside option is selected everything is ready here so I will save and we will do the same but for our other input field so let's go over here one more time to edit we go over to conditional logic I enable it as well and from here one more time show this set of options if all of these rules match but this time for our rule now I want to look for the engrave the inside checkbox so I enter here inside here we have the option is again selected let's save and we will need to save one more time over here perfect 
Now we're ready and we can go back to the demo. Okay, here we are. Now I will refresh the page so we can see the difference. And here we can see it. Now the two input fields have disappeared and they will only show if the checkbox is selected. Let's have a look. Here we can see it. And same for the other checkbox. Perfect, guys. This was our first example using the conditional logic. Now I will show you the next product for the second example. Okay, this is our next product. It is an instant camera available in two colors. Over here, we can select the color variation that we want. In this case, the product is available in blue and in pink as well. So we can also use the conditional logic to show specific options based on the product variation that is selected. For this example, I will work with the product option available in our plugin to promote the sale of the camera case. In my store, I have available two different camera cases, one in blue and one in pink. So I will use the conditional logic to show the blue camera case only if the blue camera is selected and the pink camera case only if the pink camera is selected. To begin, let's go back to our plugin so we can create a new block of options. Okay, we're back inside our plugin. And now, like I mentioned, I want to create a new block. So let's go over here and click Add Block. Now I will enter the name of the block. I'll say Instax Camera in two colors. And now I can start adding the options. So I will go over here and click Add Options. Here I want to select this option, Product. I will select it. And here I will begin with the title. I will enter by together. Next, from this field, product, I want to search for the first product I want to add. In this case, I'm going to search for case and I will select the Instax Mini Blue Case. In this case, for the price, I want to leave this option, use price of linked product. And these two other options, I will leave them disabled. What I want to do now is go over to this tab, Conditional Logic. In here, I want to enable this option, Set Conditions to show or hide this set of options. I will enable it. And over here, I will leave this as it is. Show this set of options if all of these rules match. And over here, we can insert our rule. So since I selected the blue case, this time I want to look for our blue camera. So here I will search for camera and I will select the blue variation. And over here is selected. Perfect. Now I will save. So we can go ahead and add the second option. I will do exactly the same, but for the pink variation. So one more time, I add options. Here I select the product option. For title, the same one, so buy together. And this time over here in product, I will search for our pink case. Here it is. I select it. For price, we leave the same option as before. And now we can go ahead over to conditional logic. One more time, we enable this option. Here, show this set of options if all of these rules match. And over here, now I will search for the pink camera. Here it is. So I select it and is selected. Perfect. Again, we save and we can see now our two options over here. The next thing that we need to do is associate our options to the product. For that, we need to go over to rules 
and from this option, show this block of options in, I will change from all products to specific products in categories. From here, I will search our camera. It will be this one, Instax Mini 9 camera in two colors. So I add it and now we're ready to save here. And remember to save also here your block Okay, that's it. Now let's go back to see the result. Now I will refresh the page so we can see the result. Okay, now I will select a variation, let's say blue, and here we have it. Since we have selected the blue camera, over here the option is showing the blue case. But if I change the color of the camera to pink, we can see how also this option here changes and it is now showing the pink case instead. And if I select this option, we can see over here how it adds to the product price. So now to the 79 of the product price, it adds the 23 of our option for the pink case and it gives the total of 102. This is a great example to see how you can use the conditional logic to show specific products only for specific product variations. Well, now that we have seen these two examples, the custom ring and the camera in two colors, you will be able to start creating your own conditional logic rules. Now, before we finish, there is one last thing that I want to show you that I believe is very important when you start adding options to your products. And this is the possibility to show the detail of the options you have selected in the card page. To show you this, let's go back for a moment to our plugin. This time, the option I want to show you is over here in general settings, specifically inside card and order. So I click here and this first option is the one I wanted to show you. Show options in the card page. All we need to do is enable it. Now I will save the options. So we can go back to our product and we will add it to cart to see the result. Now I will add to cart. And let's view cart. Okay, and here we can see it. First, we have the main product, so the camera, and below we can see the detail of the option we have selected. In this case, Instax Mini Pink Case. And over here, it also adds the note regarding the price of that specific option. As you can see, this is very useful because it is a way to allow the customer to double check one last time all of the details of the options they have selected before proceeding to checkout. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!